All right, let me go over put options as a substitute for shorting. I found some slides uh, on a position I did a while back. And the reason I want to talk about this is just in case this market gets uglier, you'll have some tools to possibly help make a little money on the short side. But anyway, back here, this was ADI, and it was a sell short on this ADI, okay? And you could see it was headed lower, had a nice little pullback. Entry was here, protective stop was up here, and the initial profit target was down here. So here's the option trade that I did on this. In this case, it looks like it was only 200 shares for the recommendation. In fact, we could back that up real quick and see what it was. Yeah, 200 shares, okay? So that means you, you have to buy two options to mimic it. And in this particular case, two options, $2,000. And the option price was 10, and I took profits at 14.50 on those. So that's not a bad trade percentage-wise, and it happened fairly quickly. So that's a $900 gain round number on that. Now this is something that I posted to Facebook way back then, and the answer is always tricky. So to mimic the service, I bought the ADI puts, and it only had one week until expiration. And that's where options get really, really tricky. It's like, let's say you get in the options, a week goes by, nothing happens, and it goes or it goes against you, even worse, then those options are completely worthless, and now you've got to reset. So they're not as great as they sounded earlier, but they do have their uses. So in this particular case, I was 925 in the money. I paid 75 cents for fluff. And instead of putting up 32,000 because it had been 200 shares at margin, I put up, what is this, $3,000. Still a lot of money to put up, but in this particular case, because I was so deep in the money, I wasn't looking for a double. I wouldn't mind a double, but I figured uh, four and a half points, and I don't know how that equates to the profit target, but I figured that was a good gain. 40 something percent okay so on the trade which is much better than poking the eye and the other thing is in this case it was only one week out and and one thing with options and i'm, I'm trying to give you both sides of the coin here but you can see as i wrote in this post i'm able to sleep at night and not have thirty thousand thirty two thousand dollars whatever the case may be in margin exposure okay I've got $2,000, which is about what I would be risking anyway. So the entry was here. I took profits here. And I think the options were, were uh, near expiration. But they did they did go against me. Like I said earlier, you know, like all shorts seem to go against you. They went against me and... I had a 70 to 80% loss on those options. Well, once you lose that much that fast, and believe me, they, they evaporate so fast, you really don't have time to, to sell the options, at least the way I look at things. Now, I know some of you are a little bit more active with these and you're able to take the loss, but the problem with that is you're taking the loss and then the stock implodes. Now what you do, do you get back in? You know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'm not that good, okay? So in a lot of cases, and this isn't really a huge move, this thing goes against me, I'm, I'm 70, 80% of that money is gone, but you leave it on the books and, and my ass got saved on expiration. Thank you, baby Jesus. Eight pounds, six ounce, baby Jesus. So the sell-off saved my butt, but it, it could have expired worthless and then you'd have to rinse and repeat. So I'm. I'm showing you the good here, but there's also a bad and the ugly. I use a strategy when the, the stock is high dollar also. Okay, that's a, that's a that's an interesting thing. I, I I could probably learn something here. Okay, Harry is in all caps, so I guess I need to, when I read it, I need to holler, right? <laughs> you can buy a put closer to the market and sell two put options further out lower. See, I don't like that. Okay, so he's saying buy a put close to the market and then sell two further out. So now you've got two times the exposure on the outside. Well, black swan events can still happen. So I'd be really careful with that. And trust me, I've had some bad experience with that in the past. That's why I'm no longer with, a, with a, an options uh, hedge fund, but that's a two drink minimum on that. 
You could profit if it drops more than expected, works limited to a butterfly spread in the end. You're actually just selling a short put. Yeah, see, that's where it comes, that's where it becomes really complex. And you you, you touched upon something really important there too. That's what's called a synthetic. When you're doing all these different option things, a lot of times you boil it all down and it behaves like a certain other option, like a synthetic put or whatever. So it gets really complex. And then, like I said last week or week before, something as simple as selling options on your long position, cover calls, for instance, can get really complex really fast. And that's like one of the first strategies that let people do which is ridiculous.